What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sean. Those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Sean. I do a daily video on something related to nursing. No, there's no rhyme or reason. Probably not going to change. For those of you who have been here before, I apologize that I have to do the same spiel every day of The Daily Sean because we get new fans every day, so I have to explain myself. So hang in there. The first minute or so is always the same. Okay, sorry, it is what it is. I had a plan, I was gonna stick to it, and then I read a couple things on the internet, and I saw a couple comments, and then somebody asked me a question, and I literally changed my mind five minutes before I hit the record button, and decided to talk about a topic that I'm pretty sure I've already discussed. Talking about fake it until you make it. Yes, fake it until you make it. Fake it until you make it. It's a phrase that was coined by one of my former instructors when I was in my nurse practitioner program. It's all about developing a set of skills, developing confidence in those skills. There are two trains of thoughts out there. I just read on the internet that you shouldn't fake it, that you should be honest with what you don't know and what you do know. And there's another camp, myself, that believes that you should fake it until you make it. I want to preface this by saying I am not telling you to falsely portray yourself or to falsely communicate to someone that you are knowledgeable in something that you do not know how to do. This does not mean you get to go out there and give a medication that you're not familiar with, talk about a subject with your family members or patients that you're not educated on. That's not what I mean by fake it until you make it. I'm not asking you to be a poser. I'm asking you to develop confidence where you have none. There's five things that will clarify what I mean by fake it until you make it. Number one, developing confidence. You're going to develop confidence to go into a situation that scares the living daylights out of you. You're gonna go into that situation, you're going to portray yourself as if you are already learned and skilled at whatever it is you're going to do. Once again, you're not causing anyone harm, you're not purposely deceiving anyone, you're simply giving the perception of confidence. Number two, one's perception is one's reality. So if you give the perception of confidence, then you will feel confident and those around you will feel confident. Confidence is half the battle in the majority of things that we do. If I'm not mistaken, most of the things that I've failed at the first time around was because my hands were shaking non-stop or I was sweating bullets. I was so afraid to screw up. I think I've read it on the internet or have talked about it before that it's 55% a mental game. 5% more mental than it is physical. You have to develop the confidence within your mind before you can do it with your body. Number three, you already do this, whether you know it or not. Just because you did a skill once in nursing school doesn't mean you're gonna have the confidence to do it again when you become a bedside nurse after you graduate and pass your boards. Just because you started one IV doesn't mean you're gonna be able to start the next IV. Just because you put in one Foley doesn't mean you're gonna be able to put in the next Foley. Sometimes it's a hit or miss skill. The more you do it, the better you're at it. By sheer nature of being a student, you haven't done it enough times yet. Number four, you're gonna establish a level of comfort with your patient. Are you lying to your patient? Eh, that's a, that's a gray area there. You're not saying that you're an expert at it, you're simply saying that you have experience in doing it, you're just not seasoned at the skill. Are we deceiving or misleading our patients? I don't believe we are. An example would be when I was in nursing school, we had to do three successful IV starts before we could graduate. When I did the very first one, the first question that the patient asks is, have you done this before? Sure, I've done this a million times. Done this with my eyes closed. Just did it to the last patient I was taking care of. 
You have to allow the patient to feel comfortable. Not saying you need to purposely lie to them, but there's a level of comfort that is established when you fake it till you make it. Sure, on the other side of that coin, you could honestly tell, I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go and do what they tell me to do. I'm pretty sure that the level of confidence and trust that your patients have in you is probably gonna be just a little bit smaller. Number five, it's a great coping mechanism for bigger and more difficult things. You can use this mental preparation for everything else you do as a nurse or anything you do in life that you fake it until you make it. You continue to fake it until one day, after you've done it a handful of times, enough times over a period of time, you are no longer faking it, you're now an expert at it. While we're using this example for the nursing experience, think about how many nurses out there hate to do public speaking or to get up in front of an audience and give a presentation. Yet, if you fake a level of confidence or you fake the ability to do it well, eventually you will. It's a little bit of mind trickery, convincing yourself that you're not only good at it, but you will be good at it. What do you think of this one? Fake it till you make it. Which camp do you hang out in? Are you in agreement with me? Or do you feel that you shouldn't fake it until you make it? You should be completely transparent on how much you do not know. What do you think the impact is on your patients? What has been in your experience for you? What about the students or the new nurses that you've been around? Is it a good thing to do or have you found there to be some negative aspects to it? Leave me a comment down below. Your comments are my caffeine. Share this with somebody. Hey, while you're at it, how about you share this page with somebody? Share this page. Let's get the word out there. Let's increase the tribe. Share the page with them. Let them know what's going on over here. And as always, check your own pulse first.